Hey everyone, it's Amalekel and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another jewellery based video. So a video I did two years ago now actually did very well for my channel and that is the reviewing Instagram jewellery boho moon video and I did a haul basically and I talked you through everything that I got and I thought it's almost been two years, let's do a little follow up from that video and let's sort of talk about what items I still have that I haven't lost, which is unfortunate because I have lost a few of these, um, and yeah, what I think about them and if I still think they're worth it. I'm also going to be doing a little haul as well. I got this ring recently over here on my ring finger, and I got a matching necklace as well, talk about that brand, and then I also recently picked up some plain gold rings which I'm going to be comparing to one of the boho moon ones and seeing what the difference is if there is any. So as you might know if you've watched that video already I got all those items when they were on a £5 sale but usually they're about £20 to £25 each so it was a massive sale and back like two years later can I say that I regretted purchasing those things for that price? Absolutely not. I still think that was a really good deal and almost every single thing within that haul was tarnish free, nickel free and it basically essentially promised to keep its colour and its state throughout. But unfortunately the first thing that I showed you guys was the Nara wishbone ring. I don't have that anymore, I've chucked that in the bin because it did not stay tarnish free. It did get discoloured and it went this weird like browny colour and it wasn't consistent overall, like it wasn't like an antique look, it just wasn't nice at all so I had to throw that away. So unfortunately that was a bit of a disappointment, that was the first item that I showed. The second item that I showed was a Lux initial necklace, now I know I haven't got rid of that but I also don't know where it is unfortunately. I didn't wear it that much like I said in the video, that was very much a on trend at the time kind of piece, not a piece that I would want to wear now for example so I'm sure I'll find it again I'm sure I'll wear it eventually but yeah unfortunately don't have that to show you. I do though have the singular rose necklace to show you which is right here and this is the one item that they very clearly stated was not tarnish free so this is what the singular rose necklace looks like and I think I said in that video as well it's not like as gold as the other pieces that are supposedly tarnish free. It's a nice necklace I haven't worn it a ton but for five pounds it's still a really nice necklace and it's not broken, lasted, you know, the test of time, almost two years. So yeah, five pounds was absolutely a bargain. I do like wearing this with a necklace extender because as you can see, it's very tiny. Definitely happy that I picked that up. The next item that I got was a shift ring, which I did show you guys and I showed you it on. This is what it looks like two years later. So I definitely feel like this has slightly lost its colouring. I'm not saying that it's not a nice colour now, but I'm just saying it's not the same colour that it was when I got it. I was just re-watching that video to kind of see if I was, you know, if I was just imagining things. But yeah, I definitely see more golden. I don't mind the colour now. It's a little bit more dull, but has the colour changed? Again, instead of saying yes, it has. I have worn this. Obviously, they were saying this is waterproof, so I've worn this when I wash my hands. I've worn this with hand sanitizer on as well. Um, and the other thing I will say with this ring is that it's not very comfortable to wear at all. Something about the way that it just sits on the finger, it's just not comfy. It looks really nice, I will say that. It does look really nice. But I'm hoping the actual sort of Cartier rings that look like this are a lot more comfortable and can be worn every day. If you're paying like a thousand pounds for a ring, hopefully that's the case. In my opinion, this is one of those rings where you get what you pay for. Again, I don't regret it for Fiverr, but I would not have been happy if I spent £20 on it for it to not be super comfy. The next thing was the Dainty Herringbone Necklace, which I still have and it's right here. I wore this like a decent amount. I said, because I tend to wear the hijab more like this in a turban style, I don't always reach for necklaces, but I am happy to report that the quality of this has not faded at all. It is still a beautiful necklace. It still has its exact same colour and it's just very easy to style and it's, it looks very, very elegant. Again, too short for my liking, but that's not what this review is about. Has it stood the test of time so far? Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, I would definitely recommend that. Then we had the Sense Plain Band, which looks like this. In the video I was saying that, you know, I just love a good plain wedding band-esque ring, but I will say that the size that I got this in was far too small and this honestly like it does not fit my finger here comfortably at all. I could wear it on the ring finger which is now looking incredibly heavy there. But because I've not really worn this at all, the colour has stayed exactly the same. Whereas as you can see the one in the middle has got a lot more wear. So you can see that you know this is an unworn one and it's more golden. This one over time 
and in contact with water it has shifted slightly. I'm happy I've got it, I wish I'd got it in a better size but I can still wear it so you know I can't complain and yeah again for five pounds it was pretty good. Would I spend however much it is now like 20 pounds or whatever? No just because like I said in that original video I know that sometimes their sales are that good. To be honest though after that video I've not seen them do a sale that's that good but still. <laughs> By the way if you hear rustling in the background it's my kitten. Guys I literally just spent 15 minutes looking through my emails like where is the receipt? I must have got a receipt, I must have got information. Couldn't find one which is so bizarre but anyway I went onto Instagram and I've just seen that Navia, Navia is, is actually heaven backwards which is quite a cute name and it came today. I literally ordered it a few days ago so I'm so confused as to how I've not got an order confirmation. Anyway, I'm on their um, Instagram now, so I'm just going to go onto their site. The rings that I got came in this cute little bag, this little pouch, which I really like. I do find these pouches super helpful, you know, for when you're traveling in the future. It's just easy to put, especially rings that don't get tangled in here. When I was on there, and even now, actually, it's a summer sale, now live, buy any two pieces, get one free. This is another one of those Instagram brands that claims that their jewelry is premium quality, but maintaining affordability. And they also are saying that sustainability is extremely important to them. And each piece we design is handcrafted with love, but most importantly, with knowledge, we promise to stay on trend and deliver you jewelry you really want. Um, it is very, very trendy jewelry. So you've got the triple stack stone ring that's twenty five pounds. The stone ring, which is the that's the dupe for the Cartier ring. Um, this is just to give you an idea of their sort of prices. This is in the sale, so they've got a sale on, but then they've also on top of that got a free for two one, which is great. And obviously, I've not brought jewellery since I brought that ring which was last year so kind of once a year now I'm just like treating myself to trying out different brands I do like to try and support small businesses the reason that I went for this brand you know over any others was because again the Instagram ads got me these ads really be knowing how to get you <laughs> um it says here that all our products are waterproof heat proof sweat proof and come with a lifetime warranty which quite impressive and again they've got a decent selection they don't have as many as boho moon had at the time to be fair i've not been on boho moon for a while but they have got a decent selection i'll show you the rings that i got and i got them in different sizes to hopefully fit my vision of what i want for this hand so i ended up getting the minimal which is spelled mnml block ring for 16 pounds and i've got two of these yeah so they're both 16 pounds each oh i've got a feeling they're actually a bit more at the time oh, i can't remember now see this is why i needed the confirmation to be sure but anyway i got one in a size eight and one in a size nine um, and they literally are pretty much just plain gold hoop rings like so i wanted to compare it to the boohoo moon one to see if i could see any difference other than obviously the size because the boho moon one is a size 7 and then I've got 8 and 9 here and honestly guys I'm really not seeing much difference at all. Colour looks exactly the same, the actual comfortability of the ring, the fact that it's curved seems exactly the same. Yeah I'm not seeing much difference at all so what I'm going to do with these two rings is put them on now and I'm going to keep these on for as long as I can so that I can get back to you guys within a month and see if their claim to be tarnish proof, waterproof, sweat proof is true so this is a size nine and and yeah i used to be size seven but guess what when you gain weight it gets on your fingers too so here we are <laughs> size nine will be going on for some reason i don't know if anyone else is like this but like my pointy finger is like the finger that the rings would fit the least amount on i don't know why so bizarre i would have thought it'd be like the other fingers like the middle one or the ring one but no it's that one so Anyway, I'm going to take this chain one off and put this one here. I just love, I love the look of just classic gold. And it's so nice to have a ring that fits comfortably on this finger. I mean, even then it looks like it's a little bit tight. But honestly, if it's comfortably, um, it's just timeless classic. I love, I just love gold rings. So I'm very excited to see if that will live up to its claim. And I'm going to read into the lifetime warranty. And if there's anything worth mentioning, I'll put here. And then the final ring that I got, so this is a Bruges ring and it's also in gold and I got this in a size 8 and it's basically a band ring but it's got this cute little twist detail at the front. Just very dainty. The only thing is that I prefer the roundness of these rings already 
to this because I could just tell that this is not going to be as comfy but let's see does this fit my middle finger oh it's a bit of a squeeze that is should have got this in a size nine <laughs> I mean it fits my baby finger but yeah there we go so these are my new rings from Navia the latest Instagram brand that I'm trying and I'm going to keep be keeping these on especially these two and I will let you guys know in an update um I'll it will either be in a vlog or something but I'll let you know anyway and yeah, that is my update of my boho moon, of what I've got left anyway, and a little bit of a haul. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. Have you been purchasing from Instagram brands lately? Let me know. Probably don't enable me, but also like, just let me know if you recommend anything. That'd be great. <laughs> and I will see you very soon in my next video. Take care, guys. Bye.